So, brief recap for our joining uh, players. Uh, I was there. <laughs> that's true. Jose was there, but Jim, Jim wasn't there. So, uh, we managed to recover the ship, and now we are faced with uh, multiple options of where to go, but since the ship has been gutted, we were offered the possibility of returning to Flammarion, which is the world we began at. And uh -huh. if we go back to Flammarion and uh, take the ship there, they'll do a refurbish for us, so which should be nice because the ship has been gutted. They took out all the, all, all, you know, the, the, the lockers are empty and God knows if we have vac suits and whatnot. So it's probably a good idea to just go back to Flamera and have them check the ship and then we can take off as we wish. But uh, the ship costs a lot to operate. Now, I think they're giving us vouchers for operation, but if they don't... There's uh, fuel vouchers. There's fuel vouchers, there's but not operational fuel vouchers. vouchers. Yeah. But not operational vouchers. So uh, running the ship has a monthly cost. So every week we're racking up debt when we move the ship, right? Okay. So uh, I mean, this tracks us real life. This this tracks, yes. <laughs> but so, in order to mitigate that, you have we can take cargo and we can take passengers. Uh, the best type of cargo is mail. If they have mail, like we do UPS and deliver, and mm. that's super cool. Uh, if there's no cargo, then we do freight which is just like whatever they're shipping, wherever they're shipping it, we go take it. And that's a flat rate. And depending on how far we go, the more money we get. Mm -hmm. And we can also take passengers. And those are also okay. good. And the farther you go, the more money so you get. Gosh, so we can Uber up. So, uh, you know, the, the, the best offer for cargo is to go way out of our way to place far, far away, but then we miss out on the upgrade, right? On the overhaul. Right. So so we figured, you know, the best thing to do is get back to Flammarion, uh, but maybe make stops along the way. So the best e economic option is mm -hmm. to take it to the neighboring system, which is Bowman, which is ah. the, the, next, the next system over. Uh, that allows us to take 12 tons of cargo excel spreadsheet because i am a huge nerd for those of you who have not yet realized it i, I, I had no idea uh, yeah no you, who could tell you know, who could tell never, never never guessed guess. never guessed watch i've over. got four so, spreadsheets open in my browser right now yeah <laughs> so if we take those 12 tons and no passage because we still don't know the passenger situation but if we take the 12 tons uh, that takes us two weeks to get to Flammarion, and that pays for the for the fortnight period of you know of, uh, every two weeks is is a single jump that we can go through. So that lets us pay for the expenses of running the ship, and gives us about uh, one thousand six hundred credits each uh, as profit, right? Which is bad because that's a bad salary for a space crew, right? We should be right. making five thousand credits a month for operating the ship. So it's about 2,500 credits per per two-week period, per fortnight, right? If but it's decent. Good. It's decent. So, so, and again, we still don't know what passengers they are, so there might be passengers that we could take. So the idea is to transport as much cargo and passengers as we can as we make our way back to Flammarion. Uh, if I understand correctly, you know, the, the expenses is 11,000 credits per month is the expenses to get the ship running. So two weeks would be 5,500 credits. And I have 2,000 credits, and I'm hoping Dell has a little bit more money. I've, I've, got, I, I've got a little over 2,000. Uh, and I no, should what's... mention that you guys were advanced. Uh, when you were in Flamarion, you were advanced 1,000 credits each. Mm. Um, okay. The big question, though, is are the other crew members with us? Are we just going to hand wave it and they're here or well i think I, that i so um i i think that we we can surmise that uh yes is probably the best answer to some of that um there is a new character to introduce among the refugees that you're getting off the planet 
uh, I guess that that this guy would approach you uh, once you're in the ship. Mm -hmm. And so this is a guy who's, you know, compared to the rest of you, he's old. He's 42, right? Oh, my God, he's ancient. So he's got graying, dark, slightly graying dark hair and a buzz cut, like gray eyes, a scar on his face. And he's about six feet, compact, muscular build. Imagine Kurt Russell in Soldier. Nice. <laughs> That's basically a fundamentally traveler film. Yes. And also in the Blade Runner universe, right? Mm -hmm. And and the guy is dressed uh, in in what looks to be it's not a uniform but it's like I guess uh I don't know if if you guys would would get it but Jim probably does this. He's dressed in like dark uh what would today be dark 511 clothes, you know. Oh nice. <laughs> yeah. So it's like dark gray and black, like cargos, boots, long sleeve shirt with all the pockets and stuff. Because it's it's his cloth armor, right? Nice. Yep. So it, it looks it's clearly paramilitary. He's got a he's he's got a, a pistol uh, at, a, at a holster and a, a carbine across his back. And he introduced himself as uh, Roy Mundrick. And uh, Roy, I mean, he probably wouldn't tell his life story because he's kind of a stoic, although his, mm -hmm. w w but basically uh, he's a former colonel in the Marine Corps. Nice. He was, uh, he, the, the way I'm doing not knowing the universe really is that he's not from any planet because he was a military brat. His, his parents were in the Navy, so nice. he grew up in ships. And nice. when he got old enough, he joined the, the military academy and uh, he wanted to be one of the tough guys because his parents were just like tech guys. So he, he joined the Marines and I chose the Star Marine uh, specialty because I thought it would be useful, right? Because those are the boarding experts mm -hmm. and such. Nice. And uh, so he served, uh, you know, uh, from 18 to 42 and he's, he noticed he started getting old and, and was liable to be making some mistakes. But he rose to the rank of colonel, which is amazing because my socials was at four and making it to colonel brought it up to ten. Oh, my nice. God. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm like, what? Is, can this be true? This but is... that's what it says next to colonel. It is possible. Uh, yeah. Nice. So So by nature... By nature, he's he's obviously kind of reserved and, and surly, but because of all the experience with leading, he's learned to talk to people, even though it didn't come naturally to him. Nice. So you know, he's got his scars, he's got his his uh, his soldiers type of scannable tattoos with from from battlefield. I actually didn't have a single mishap, but I do have like events behind enemy lines and cool. Uh, and uh, we have uh, advanced training, which he failed, and I didn't get the skill. Okay. He, he front line, so he got a recon one skill. So he's got all that, all that uh, nice spacey space marine doom type goodness. I think. Nice. Yeah. Tell, us, tell us. Yep. Tell do, do you have medic skill by any chance? At zero. Okay, so but you have it, okay. which we yes. don't. So that's pretty good. Yeah. Cool. Do, do you have leadership by any chance? I have leadership one. Yeah, you just. Won. I got tactics one. I got obviously gun combat stealth. I got leadership two. I lied to you. Leadership okay. two. Dude, you know what he's going to be able to do for us? Lead. Lead. Okay. <laughs> Grant moves, man. Grant moves. I, I, I also have a question. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the answer can be none, but just checking, there's this thing about when you guys make the, the characters as a team some extra zero level skills. Yeah. Uh, there's like one or two or there's a variant that we did for the solo creation which is in the companion let me see if i can dig it up real quick i gotta start uh, adding up all this 
Yeah. Uh, so I imagine that. Like, no, go, go ahead. I mean, I, I don't want to distract from finding the thing. Um, but I do imagine that perhaps uh, Javier and Samuel may have seen some of uh, Colonel Moondrake during the the volcano activities. Oh yes. This, yeah, yeah, maybe he helped. Or, maybe he helped organize the, to get the guys in an organized way into your ship or something. Or, or into the different ships. Maybe he was trying to use his leadership skill for that. I can imagine yeah. that, yeah, I mean, the, the Walston government was wanting for any sort of expertise, uh, civil defense-wise, because uh, the dictator um, you know, kind of had a, a posse of about uh, 20, 20 armed guys with assault rifles, and suddenly they were called on to respond to, a, you know, a Mount St. Helens scale uh Eruption. So I, I imagine that there there likely was a, a call for anyone with that kind of expertise. Why the colonel was on the world otherwise is a question which we might discover the answer to, you know, later. Um, or it could be that, you know, he's doing some kind of consulting work uh, or observing something for one of the mega corporations that have... Uh, Now, the, the nice thing is that I also picked, instead of a ton of money, this thing called a TIS membership, because it's interesting. Oh, oh. God, buddy. That is oh. very nice. <laughs> that, that is very nice. That's the Traveler Aid Society, and you can get us into, like, hotels and stuff like that. <laughs> very nice. I figure, you know... I already so had like <laughs> so it's the advantage of, of doing the six term thing, right? Plus yeah. because I rank, reached the rank of colonel, I had three extra mustering out benefits. Yeah. Yes. And a plus one on the thing of Majiggy. So I, I posted a little screenshot with the traveler creation rules. Uh with the connections, instead of making connections, I think you just get two skills and you pick uh, I think it's a maximum of two. You can't have more than two connections, I believe. And uh, the other thing was the skill package at the end. Instead of the skill package, just pick one at plus one. Okay. So that, so that's that what helps. I remember. I haven't I haven't looked at it since I rolled my character. So yeah, I I don't know if I I don't know how the connections work. I do know that I have ally because I didn't report an officer who fucked up on my first assignment. Nice. So I got some some marine who's an ally. Okay. And hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's the the event was that a mission went wrong because the commander screwed up. I was a you lieutenant, were, were, that was my first. So I could either report him and get a bonus on promotion or get get the guy as an ally. Nice. Uh, what, what service did you go through? Marines. There you go. So did that's um, event nine. But you were a uh, lieutenant when that happened. Yes, it was my yeah, first. So I can't be okay. I was a rookie. L L2. I, I was gonna say I could be that. Uh, that <laughs> well, you can. You, yeah. Well, yeah, but it went that's, the time. That's, it yeah, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he's much older. So yeah. Yeah, yeah um, you, you young pup. <laughs> it could be that made her just the. Name again, Jose. Excuse me. What was your first name again? Roy. Roy. Yes. Roy Moondrake. Okay. Hmm. I like it. So this would mean that we should all chip in for the maintenance, right? So if we can put up 5,500 credits total... Right, divided by four, that shouldn't be too much. Uh, like about a thousand and change, thousand one hundred and something each. Then we can get the ship to go for two weeks while we get to Bowman. I mean, could we forego that and just roll a negative or something? Yeah, I, guess, I mean, we don't. But yeah, we got to pay it up front though to oh, okay. to get the ship up and running because the ship is messed up right so it's <laughs> going like a hoopty yeah yeah so so that and that's a good and that's a good hook right so we we have uh the colonel colonel roy chip in to buy a share of the ship 
There right? you go. <laughs> he put some money up front, right? So everybody puts in. So then I, I will I will provide some context and and get us um get mm -hmm. us kind of situated. So um having looked at the freight board um and, and looking at the TAS board um and Mac um Samuel and Javier and uh, and Maynard are sitting around the you know the table which is bolted to the floor maybe sitting on milk crates in the in the ship's mess um and when you click into Bowman and you say I, we're going to Bowman then the the TAS passenger log uh, comes in and there's there's a uh, there's preferred you know TAS members are listed first uh, for mm. you to contact for for passage to Bowman. Um, <laughs> nice. And so there's a communicator code which comes in, um, and we can avoid the meeting in the space bar scene if we like. Um, nice, yeah. please. <laughs> yeah. awesome. And um, okay with that. So uh, Colonel Moondrake um, has a conversation with you about how you're broke. Um, uh, you know, and the ship the ship's not going to take off. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and um, and, and during this during this period, uh, there's a there's a red light that comes on the bridge um, from the starport, uh, like the starport advisory system, um, and there's you know there's an actual audible beep coming in from the bridge as you guys kind of wrap up your conversation about getting the life support set up and, and getting ready to roll out. Uh, one last question, guys. Mm -hmm. So connections rule, it says, instead of connections, what did you guys do? Because it says you might provide organizations or bonus skills. I, just, what? I think I just picked two skills. I think it's the maximum you can pick. And we two skills? Out. Okay. Yeah, just do yeah. the Level skills. Level zero or one? I think it's a maximum of two. I, can't, I don't remember the exact rule. But I'm pretty sure it was because I thought it was like, oh, I got four skills. I'm so great at this. I think it's one per term up to a maximum of two, but I could be mistaken. Because I thought, you know, I had, a, oh, four skills. This is awesome. This is going to be great. And then when I went to pick them, it's like, oh, no, just two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but the question is at level zero or one is my mm, question. I don't remember. Uh, Sorry, sorry to bug you, but the, it's, the it's rule in the rest of the character creation is that if you gain a skill and uh, um, and it doesn't say a level, then you gain it at one. So it's it's only when it kind of explicitly says you're getting it at zero. Um, oh, okay. So all right. So, so so I basically got three more skills to level basically between those That's two. That's probably it. Yeah. It's easy, easy. Let's do it. Any other skills you guys were looking for? Any other droids you guys are looking for? I think medic is the most important. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. Are we comfortable with our piloting issue, or are we our piloting uh, situation rather? All, all we have is 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 Samuel is our only pilot, and he's not. Yeah, really we're going to be kind of confined to jumps. Yeah, he's uh, not feeling too happy with with that. Um, yeah, but I don't think this guy should be the pilot. I. Yeah, I know. Right. I know. I just, I just need to boost. If I'm gonna be stuck the pilot, I need to boost it up. There quick. is gunnery. I'll take gunnery. Yeah, I was taking medic I, gunnery, yeah. and I, uh, what about computers or what? Does anybody have that? Um, I don't. I'm just. I'm gonna pick them from my from my profession list just because it makes sense. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I could. I already have leadership. Steward. No, I have admin or advocate, not steward. No, I, I have steward zero. Um, okay. Admin okay. or Arvik advocate. He, or admin electronics. Could, admin could probably come in useful. I do have okay. electronics. Have so, admin is good because that's a kernel skill, so we'll take that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I have no idea yeah. what it does, but. Well, neither does the kernel. Uh, it's bureaucracy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. He gives orders, so you know he's not. Only... It's it's red tape. It's the red tape skill. Um, yeah, <laughs> as in make red tape red tape for other people. Cut through red tape. Um, yeah, but you know when when, right. when you hear the GM rattle off three or more sentences about red tape, you can invoke the skill. Step up. Break right. out the scissors. Yeah. <laughs> um. 
So suffice it to say, uh, it, like you're interrupted as you kind of you kind of shook on this this conversation about getting the life support feedstocks set up and um, and you know buying like a crate of oranges. So there's something besides Soylent to eat in jump space. Um, and at that point, there's the, the bridge is, is chirping at something louder than the frogs. Um, <laughs> the, the, you know, the ship is plugged into the starport umbilical. And so, you know, there's a, there's a, you know, a terminal that, so that the bridge, the, Starport can communicate with the ship and, you know, the ship can order parts and so on. And in bigger starports, this is absolutely necessary. Um, but you're surprised to see anybody, you know, sending a message this way. Hmm. Um, so you walk over. Um, I don't know who's, who's, who's going to read it. Uh, cause it's, 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 it's urgent. Um, and it's, it's, you know, it's, it's labeled in red as a bulletin. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I'll take it. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> now I I I, I I guess it is possible that one could flick it up onto the ship's that like the cockpit's heads up display and you could read it all together actually. Uh because yeah, it's, it's the future. Um oh, I suppose. Uh well that's I, I think that's up to you. You you get to the cockpit first, Maynard, and um and it's just, it, it, it just says the, um, the new government of Walston, uh, the provisional government of Walston is revoking. Hey, Hav, Hav, get up here. This looks important. I'm talking about <laughs> governments and stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's Wait. all good. Uh, is revoking. There's something else, please. Uh, oh, hmm. no, go ahead. I'm going to ask you the guy's name. Uh, go for it. Uh, is, re is revoking client state status with the Imperium effective uh, so effective oh. midnight local uh, extra extraterritoriality of the starport is likewise revoked um, at this time and all ships and, and personnel within starport bounds will be subject to local laws. Uh -huh. We're getting the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> so what, what does that mean, Hav? I think that means that having you know following this revolution is going to be uh, uh, they're just declaring independence effectively. Uh, we'll be bound by local local laws. They could levy taxes on us. Oh, that's uh, that noise. Yeah, we we need to just get the cargo on board and see if we can procure any passengers and finish loading up uh, the provisions and just take off as soon as possible. All right, I'm directing any kind of loading of provisions. Yeah. So, so Jose, I'm playing Javier, Javier um, Almedina. Javier Medina. Almedina. I try not to make it Puerto Rican, but Arab, because <laughs> it is one of my it is one of my last names. So you know, it is okay. It is legit. <laughs> Does he have an apostrophe? Uh, the dash, I think they put when it's Arabic, right? It's Al right. Medina, yeah, from Medina. All right, <laughs> All right. Samuel uh, Edmonds is my yes, I'm playing with Edmonds, Samuel Edmonds, yeah. All right, yes, and Jim is Maynard Mattis. Yep. Now it should Maynard be stated, Jeff Mattis. Oh, hmm? Jeff, Maynard Mattis? Jeff, yeah, I call him Jeff. Oh, that's right, Jeff. Uh, as Brad. He, he's the youngest of us. I think we're both Javier and Samuel are 34. Is that correct? Yeah, right. That is correct. And, uh, uh, Jeff is like 18 or something. <laughs> he's got to be 22 or 20. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, like, I mean, he's like four, one year. I mean, one, I think he did two. I think he did two terms. It's 26. Sure. Yeah, it, yeah. He got okay. he got a free lieutenant's bar because of yeah. uh, Senator Son Itis. And he is hey, hey, marine hey, hey, as well, and he is oh noble. nice, and he is noble. He's like uh, what was it, baronet or knight or something? I can't. Remember. Yeah, and he wears it on his sleeve too. And uh, just a brief background: Javier is uh, basic concept is a merchant marine. Merchant Marine is an old, you know, not old, he's 34, but he's an experienced spacer, so he has a lot of of spacer skills, right? And Sam, uh, similar. Sam, when you, when you look at him, he, he's he's a bulky guy, 
and he is a merchant marine. He his main thing is engineering with uh, the power plant system, and uh, and a pilot now. Yeah, I'm a pilot through the circumstances we're in. Yeah. Reluctant uh, pilot. Perfect. So, um, uh, let's, uh, so let's montage a bit and let's just, uh, figure out what, what, what freight lots are going on the ship. Well, we're taking all the Bowman freight lots. That is, uh, five tons to, uh, the Trojans and, um, let me, so I'm just going to look at those because. There uh -huh. is there's the possibility that some of them are not on um, the premises. Yeah. Or that then that is that 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 is the question. Um, yeah. So I highlighted I highlighted the three nope. parcels in they, the. They're uh, all CIF, so they're they're already cleared for for export. So they're they're in the Starport warehouse. Good, um, cool, cool. I think we're just missing a container for one of them. Does the any of this stuff have some containers? Or loose? We got uh, dry manure. We're shipping uh. manure. Uh, we got that's five tons of manure. People, be careful with that. Uh, and then we got uh, two tons of fishery, uh, the, the chum uh, product for for food. <laughs> and then we have uh, shrimp sauce concentrate. Exactly. And I mean, all, all this shit. I mean, all this stuff is uh, <laughs> <laughs> accurate. It's, it's contained, right? In, okay. Yeah, we have you know the manure and five tons of manure and two tons of food are uh, destined for Garrison Starport in Bowman, near okay. the uh, near the prime gas giant in Bowman, and uh, five tons of food. Are bound for the Trojans uh, of Bowman, so uh, that shouldn't be too difficult to deliver. Sounds what easy we, enough to me. Yeah, what we do have to do is take off from the spaceport, refuel in the ocean, right? Because you can, we can scoop there up is, fuel. Well, so I mean, that's the question: is you have you are vouchered for fuel, and actually, I believe mm -hmm. that when when you are still on good terms with the government, they did in fact tank you up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's right because we did help in the evacuation the, yeah yeah all right and there there may have been opportunities <clears throat> to actually um lay in the ship quayside like like in the ocean and just tank mm -hmm. up there and so i mean i imagine that the when you went to the cockpit to read the bad news you also got the good news that the fuel processor had finished uh coughing the salt out of out of the water mm -hmm. i'll tap one of my hey look at that full tank well, yeah. half, half tank because because it, it ha has to crack the water, so it's it's not ah. quite. It's like two thirds two thirds full with hydrogen because it, it cracked the water. Um, okay, but it's enough to get to Bowman. Yeah. Okay. And th full these tanks Trojans are located. I mean, are they located near the? Uh... They're located in the Lagrange points, which are like the null gravity points. One is slightly ahead of the planet, and one is slightly behind the planet. If I remember my. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just wondering about the distance between. So if we had to in drive, it's, it's if they're trailing the planet, it should be a couple of hours to get there. Worst case that's, scenario, that's nice. I didn't yeah. want a week's travel. You know, no, I don't. That's that's why I'm happy that it's all the Garrison Starport and the Trojans. So it shouldn't be too Good. bad. All right, all right. <laughs> uh, what could go wrong? Uh, yeah, I, I want to uh, you know be facilitating loading up the ship and uh, so. Um, <laughs> I think that so the main question is, uh, you can probably come by a some kind of container for for a pretty easy deal, given the fact that you know the the uh, the future of all of this merchandise within the Starport is very uncertain. So if you if you have any actual cash you want to give somebody for uh, give the Starport quartermaster for uh, some kind of tankage that you need for this, uh, he'd, he'd probably be happy to let you walk off with it. Um, Okay. And so yeah. I think, uh, uh, yeah, if you want to just make a quick broker roll. Um, well, I'm getting, I'm getting Maynard to, uh, to smooth him. Because you got like a 15 on social, don't you? 
I have um, oak. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. So, because uh, I have I have a skill see. of one in broker, so I could. Oh uh, hell yeah! Okay. Anybody other than me, I'm too gruff. Uh, yeah, I don't have a broker. Okay, so that's uh, bad. Yeah, because I, do, I do have the twelve down. social. Yeah. yeah. Well, it is a, it is a matter of broker plus social, um, that resolves that. Um, we are just we're just kicking things off with the the first die roll of the night. That's that's. It. Yeah. So yeah, should so I roll it then? Uh, does, up too. does does taking the presence of Maynard along with me help me with like a boon die or something? It's or? Uh, if you take if you take leadership. I mean, uh, Roy alone, he can give you a boon with his leadership. Oh really? Uh, yeah. See, so he I can have get it. leadership or admin. I don't know what. Well, I mean, you can up up to the gym. Yeah. Well, uh, so I'm. I, this is. I, I don't want to make too much of this. Um, actually, because this is just yeah. a matter of just deciding the cost for the thing. Um, sure. Just so should I draw it just regular? Yeah. yeah. So the okay. Yeah. So and that's social plus broker, mm -hmm. right? Uh, yes. So it's a wash for me. Uh, nine on a natural nine, so that's okay. pretty good. Wait, so, yep. um. Uh, he's happy to get the forklift and drive it over for you. He's got one of his guys um, bringing over uh, kind of a big uh, plastic, you know, thing that probably was holding in fertilizer slurry or something last time. Um, mm -hmm. You know, probably compatible with with what what you want to put in there. Um. I mean, they can rinse it out if you want. And then there's six other kind of dry bulk containers that if you want them, you can take them for 100 each. Um, they're 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 two D tons. You know, they're just kind of hoppers that you would throw in the back of a cargo bay. That can, you know, they'll hold. Sure. Dry bulk. If we can, if we can carry them, we'll take them. Uh, everybody then chips in an extra. Well, they're, they're as big as two D tons. The, the six other container if you want them that's all so oh well if we yeah. don't need them for the cargo we don't because we don't have room we have okay. exactly 12 tons of cargo and that is our available cargo space. okay so the yeah. question before takeoff is do you want to look at any more passengers or are you... uh okay. if we have time because we want to leave with with a little bit of you know like an hour before Okay, and, so, and that has to be worth it too, because it's like two grand per passenger. Well, per let's year. not be hasty. Let's let's take a look. <laughs> let's see what's available. <laughs> so there's uh, so, so you end up on the community. Uh, you, you you end up on the communicator. Um, I don't know if you want you guys want to be on the phone together with, with whoever is on the other end of the line. You know, you just kind of have a name, Grelf Grelf Smelder, and uh. uh you have a communicator code, and you can contact them if you want. All right. So I will contact them. We, we, we yeah, we can be all together. Um, yeah. We, we filter them to make sure that we can only take uh, middle passage or basic. We don't have neither low berths, no uh, high passage. We can't handle either of those because we don't have a steward. And we don't have low berths, so we can just do middle or basic passage. Okay, middle would be preferable. Yeah. All right. Um. So there's uh. So it it shows that 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 uh, this this Grelf character is um is on the premises um in fact, and so you you, you get like a direct link because the planetary mm -hmm. cellular is is down. Uh, you would you would need to uplink to the the satellite. You know, the, there's a Ling standard product satellite that's above that would give you a connection to anyone that's not in the city. Uh, so you, you notice that this is a direct connection. It must be someone in the starport town. Hmm. <clears throat> well, this is fortunate. This might be our passenger. His Hello, name is Rolf. Is this the ship? Uh, yes, this is the in Achilles. starport. Yeah, that yeah. we are. Oh, oh, this is good. Um, I wish to, uh, I wish to, to find myself off world. Um, but specifically I wish to go to Bowman. I'm not sure how many people, 
uh, wish to go there. Um, I'm sure there are many who wish to be on your ship. But I see you are going to Bowman, and this is where I wish to go. Excellent. Uh, Preston, yes, we are offering Middle Passage. Uh, we can accommodate you for the low, low rate of uh, 5,700 uh, credits. Um, and we can have you there within two weeks tops, probably uh, probably 10 days, maybe less. Is this Varger by chance? Uh, you, you recognize that, yes, that's Specifically, yeah, you know, one of the things oh, we're, from this home world. If yeah. we're if we're negotiating, I'm I'm asking for more because that's the yep. standard rate. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's fine. I'm fine with it. Yeah. Keep doing it. I'm just wondering. Well, that's the standard rate. If we're gonna negotiate, I'm gonna ask for like you know nine thousand or no eight thousand, and then you know. So I mean, down from there. Yeah, so uh, this is he is enthusiastically, you know, wants to want, like is engaging in the bargaining, and in fact, is you know, like you, you see, like a real strong wariness on his part, um, up until the moment that you kind of start start haggling with him, and, and mm. now it's 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 kind of this it's this playful thing. He's like, now listen, you are, you take me out of house and home. Like, this is all the money that I've saved in this time on this awful planet, and I only wish to get off-world to see my kin and see what we can arrange for my kin who are tra trapped here in this uncertain future here on Walston. And so I, 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 I merely wish to, to contact some of my, some of my kin. And, and I, you know, how, how, how can you fleece me so? Come well, on, let's, let's, um, let's cut him a break. That's uh, perfectly understandable, but you know, uh, 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 at present, it's a very limited space. We only have two cabins available, and uh, this is probably the last ship of the planet before the new planetary government comes into effect. So we, who knows how this is going to affect interplanetary travel from now on? It might not be a ship for months, maybe years. You never know. See, here's the thing, though. I I, I believe that no one is following me. I, I and, and and you get the. I'm walking right to your ship just now. I'm I'm here. There's that's a... you, you could leave now, and if you want to take the ambassador's family, if you want to take any of the corporate representatives who want off planet, if you want to take the tens and tens of people who want to huddle in your cargo bay, cold and weary, and probably not. Have, not having their own food for the journey, then that is up to you. But let me tell you, I, I will not inconvenience you. I, 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 I even have a suitcase full of beef jerky. So, I, I, do, do you like beef jerky? It is a favorite of mine. It's, uh, it'll do in a, in a pinch. Uh, uh, so what are you offering? So let's haggle this. <laughs> so you, so you, he's kind of, he's like, like you, you've been on the phone with him and you can kind of see him coming down the tarmac walking towards your ship actually. Uh -huh. Um, and so he's, he's wearing something that, uh, you know, approximates like a, um, uh, like a, a day suit, um, you know, like a, a zoot suit or something that's, you know, someone would wear around, but not for dress. Uh, yeah. And and so he 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 stops. He pauses at the at the boarding ramp. Uh -huh. So how much is he offering then? And closes his phone. Um, what I I have Samuel a suitcase. I have a suitcase of beef jerky and five thousand credits and the the goodwill of my kin. Uh, it, it, if you will have it, and no oh, inconvenience. Oh, it's been so long, man, since I've had some beef jerky. Well, uh, what? I overhear this. Well, I'll, 800 yeah. credits. Come on, man. 5,000. We got room in the hole, don't we? And it's, more importantly, uh, beef jerky. Come on. Well, okay, those 700 uh, credits are coming off of your share. No, no, so. no, no, no. <laughs> and before you think of confining me to the hole, I've mine. also brought my DVD collection. <laughs> All right, you you can keep the uh, beef jerky and the DVD player. We'll we'll split the five thousand among the rest of us. So, <laughs> all right, yeah. So, do we roll for it or do we? Because I I'd like my five thousand seven hundred credits. Uh, yeah, we, let's do it. Let's do an opposed roll, actually. 
<laughs> okay, this is broker again, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, there's other. Yeah, I, let's go ahead. Let's go with that. It, oh, man. Yeah, Blue no, screen no. of death. Yeah, why we heard how how deadly are we talking about here? Uh, it's uh, needs to restart and it's collecting error information. So oh dear! Oh dear! It, it oh, sounds geez. it sounds ominous. So let's. Yeah, that doesn't sound good, bro. Yeah, hey, I, was, I, was, I was trying to I was trying to shift the uh, the camera karma so you'd not... see the roll. Come on, let's see. Oh, that is a oh, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Exceptional. <laughs> what, 10? <laughs> um, Very good. So suffice it to say, I mean, like, you know, he has to reach into his wallet and pull out individual bills, um, which he, he like, was very sad to part from. And um, <laughs> and he does give you that rate. Nice. So, um, how, how, many, um, how many things of beef jerky does he have? Well, I mean, it's, it's a whole suitcase of it. I mean, you know, you okay. it, like he's, you know, he's, he's, he's this is, you know, this is here to share. Um, you can rehydrate this, and it it's really good flavoring. You, if you want to make a meatloaf with your with your nutritional yeast and your texture, you can just you can throw that in there when you're making the <laughs> the the stock. It's really good. Um, one of my favorites. Oh, and I brought a nice. bottle of ketchup. Ooh. Yeah. All right. I'm making my way back to the front of the ship and uh, shutting the back docking area as soon as we got everything it stinks. strapped in. Yeah. yeah man, man. <laughs> Getting ready to... I, I want to I shut off everything when we uh, shut off this area. Okay. Yeah, anyway. we, could, we, could keep this, we could keep this area in vacuum, right? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. I want to I turn off the graph plates. I want to turn off any non-essential heating. Okay. You know, uh, life support, the whole nine yards on any area. Mm -hmm. uh, so then, okay. Is, can I adjust the graph plates with the. Uh, you little, can. Yeah. I what, mean, whatever room the uh, Barger guy is going to be in, I'll adjust his to accommodate him. Wait, is, is Rolf a Varger? I didn't. He yeah. is, yes. Mm -hmm. He oh. conducts himself quite, quite uh, nonchalantly. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, now I feel bad because I. But hey. Not that no, you did what the man yeah. That's what it takes. <laughs> we got a ship to run. It's bad, but not that bad. Yeah. You know. So um I feel bad, but I'm sleeping. <laughs> yeah. So the ship takes off uh with uh and it's 31 hours uh to 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 till you're clear of the hundred di diameter limit because this is a small kind of orange dwarf star, um the likes of Tau Ceti. Um, and so there's, you know, you, this planet itself is within the hundred diameter limit. Uh, um, right now that means that, uh, and in fact, um, in this case, the, the Bowman where you're headed is on the other side of the star. So you end up having, there's a, there will be a dog leg involved to not fly through the star, um, <laughs> itself. Can we just fly up? Through the oh well yeah, no through the point yeah. of the ecliptic Same, yeah, and visual. and there there yeah. that is involved yeah um yeah. The, like well, uh, yeah you just want Roy on the on the guns and uh, Maynard I believe too for any pirates that may be lurking about so this is the yeah so that that is the question is there is a, it's a it's a 30, 32 hour um trip at yeah. full thrust uh like if, if you want to push the engines to One like the thrust. two g's i think oh so because I, I think the scout has two thrust yeah it, it can give us up to two gravities of thrust yeah yeah i know i'm just well i mean if, if it's appropriate for me cutting off all the excess energy how old is the ship anyway i mean there's the I mean, the power supply how oh many does it have, the, the, in other words oh how is the reactor yeah. That's a great question. Uh, she's running them eight points short right now. Oh, um, you know that's yeah. you know that's it's pretty good. You know you brought her up. You brought the reactor online from nothing. Um, yeah. So that's what I was worried about. We couldn't even afford to do two. So yeah, yeah you're but, able to shave uh, shave two points for, for, from the uh, kind of the basic requirements from what you did in the cargo bay, actually. Yeah. Woo! Okay, great. All right, well done, Sam. 
So, uh, right, don't go ahead. Hmm? I j just want to say I have to have enough power to go to the guns or whatever's needed for for that. If we're going to be looking for, looking out for pirates, I'm trying to get there. Yeah, we do have a turret, so yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's just gonna have to be powered up. So, I mean, oh, if we can do two, I'll do it to get us there quicker. Okay. Well, we have to power it down when we got to do the jump, right? So, um, yeah. so let me work this out. We we have rolled a a random encounter. Um, oh dear. Yeah, you have to roll. So, uh, well. Uh, well, you don't have to, but you know, <laughs> there is some fun <laughs> fun involved here. Um, yeah. You don't have to if you don't want to. <laughs> so, uh, there is thirty two hours to jump the to plot the jump course. Who is the astrogator? I am the astrogator. Okay, thank goodness. I have a astrogation skill of one plus my education of one is two, so I got a plus two on the modifier. Uh, and it's an easy check, it says here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and it is, yeah, it's 1D plus, you know, times 10 minutes. So if we got 31 hours, I could even delay that to get an extra plus two. So I think that falls within the range of, of, uh, of uh, uh, yeah, yeah if you, if you that, take exceptional care, me, yeah. Yeah, that gives me a plus four. So oh, ma we... minus one, minus one for the parsecs mm -hmm. is a plus three. But this is a chain uh, thing, so it I is. should roll each because it it the the effect from one carries over yes. to the next roll. Yeah, and and okay. the jump drive may not be in quite so good of shape as your math skills. Mm, okay, so again, I have a plus three because of the distance of one parsec. And uh, here we go. That is a three plus three is six. six. So that is only a two effect on my on my on the first roll, right? Gotcha. So um, about two hours from for, from you clearing the clearing for jump, you are beyond the hundred diameter limit right now, but you need to mm -hmm. round Bowman's star. Uh, to jump for, I'm sorry, round Boston Star to jump for Bowman. Um, Correct, and we're we're aiming for Bowman Prime. Yes. So about two hours before that happens, uh, there's whoever's on the bridge, um, and I don't know what kind of watch you guys want to set up, or should I just roll? It, um, and are, are you giving the Colonel watches on the bridge? I guess is the next question. Yeah, I, I, I think he's. I mean, he seems he's military. I think it would be, you know, kind of. Yeah. Seems disciplined. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a shot. But whenever um, we're ready to jump, I'm ready I'm, to roll. Yeah, so, I mean, it's it's just a matter of kind of, you know, s sitting sitting with your laptop in front of the in front of the cockpit and, you know, watching movies, and it's mostly just, you know, <sighs> waiting for something to go wrong. Uh, in any case, um, let me look at my screen. One, two, three, four. Maynard, you're on the bridge uh, mm -hmm. when there's a contact on the sensors. Do sensors show, like tell me anything about it? What do the sensors just, tell me? This is jump emergence, um, uh, emergence wave, uh, one hundred, uh, you know, uh, one million miles, uh, you know, about, you know, like point, point one or point zero, you know, somewhere between point one and point zero one AU. Uh, it's likely to have jumped from. Uh, a six seven five three oh nine, um, likely, and so you know the sensors tell you where the ship likely jumped from. Uh, it's mm -hmm. working on an estimate, working up an estimate of like the tonnage, the size of the vessel, but it's constraining that. It's you know it's constraining oh, that yeah. upward and downward as it analyzes the signal, and so it's you know it's like smaller than a thousand, uh, d tons. It's larger than a hundred. Which, you know, it's it's between 200 and 800 D tons. It's getting shrinking, you know, whatever the size right. of it is. Yeah. For reference, our ship is 100 tons, mm -hmm. so it's bigger than yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah, you got to be away from it. The second okay. go. Um. Hey, hey, um, guys. <laughs> There's something coming up, coming up on sensors. 
it's uh it's bigger than us so i think we should probably uh pay attention to it yeah okay, okay. quick question i'm I mean, sorry just, you do just, you mm -hmm. uh, you said the ship had a turret it does all right With two yeah 108 megajoule x-ray lasers mounted in it well the, the moment the moment the lieutenant says that uh the colonel sprints for for the turret nice Jesus. okay do you really you know what you look you look good <laughs> yeah let, let him man man handle him uh how far are we how far is the ship to us um it's about one million minutes it's at long range all right, Samuel comes on on deck, popping his eyes. Hey, what do we got here? Sleepy head. It's a blip. Uh, it's something it's bigger than head. the ship and you. Something bigger than your head. They are Ooh, starting an likely. active scan. I'll yeah. return right. to you. Well, you need to scan. Yes. Yeah. I I have sensors, so. Yeah, let's get Javier up here. He can he can scan it. Yeah. We don't need to hail it yet. And we're at long range, so we're getting uh, yeah minimal minimal information. And yeah, we can't. It's gonna impede or impede us from jumping if it, if it hangs around. But hey, minimal minimal is better than nothing. So uh, this is Moondrake standing by the turret. Yeah. Uh, scanning. I like so him. <laughs> Jeez. Motivated, so, <laughs> so the uh, the lasers uh, require four power each in the turret. That is true. And don't get cocky, kid. That yeah. is true. So that means we have to reduce basic ship systems, I suppose. Yeah, because <laughs> the turret requires four, the sensors require two, and uh, we got to save twenty for the jump drive. So I don't know. Uh, and 20 for the maneuver drive. So, what's the I want to do that? Um, the, the sensor scan, okay? So, you want you like you're going active, yeah? Okay, it's going active in us, we might as well go active in it. So, I got a sensors of one, education is one, so that's plus two. <coughs> That is a six plus a two is an eight. Okay. <sighs> so minimal would be like basic outline of the ship. Yep. So you 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 get something back, which is um, it's it's recognized in the silhouette as a, a catalog. Um, as a a common uh, common. Varger uh, merchant from Gverdon sector. Many of the ship, shipyards in Gverdon sector uh, often employ this hull. Um, and uh, you, you, so you're getting an outline of that at the moment. Mm. You think we need to hail it? So it's long range is like ten thousand kilometers. So yeah, I I may revise those numbers because I I don't I I don't like them. <laughs> like the, yeah, the range bands, are, they're very they're, weird, they're very like, small. Because <laughs> that's like if we go two gravities, they 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 if they go two wow, gravities, they can be on minutes. here in, in about twenty three minutes. So <laughs> yeah, was that? Yeah, so. I mean, I I, uh, I I suppose that the the scales are worked out so that you know there's not like hours of watching missiles come at you. Um, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, th this yeah. freighter does isn't isn't jump capable, correct? Yeah, it just so, yeah, I don't it know just why jumped it would be out this far. We just we just need to it maybe it's coming in jump. system. Yes. Yeah, it just came out of jump. So oh, okay. It, it can't right. possibly know we're here unless. Right. Well, you just went you know, active. So yeah they, right but, yeah yeah but, but what i'm yeah, saying it's, is it's unlikely that they would have come here hunting for us so no, you know what yeah. i mean and they're so. they are vectoring uh, to walston at the moment so, uh, okay. so you, you you're getting right. a, like because their maneuver drive is firing up yeah okay yeah i say we don't call them 
Yeah, they should be yeah. without uh, outside of a range. We should be able yeah. to. Uh, you know what I do? I I want to contact them on the comms. What? Yeah, let them go ahead and contact. Them. Yeah, I mean they're they're far away. They might not do. All right. So you send a hail, and uh, mm -hmm. and so there's the and the laser communicators end up pairing, um, mm -hmm. and uh, and so you you they I mean, you got them on the screen. Um, there's time of flight is about you know three quarters of a second, mm -hmm. so there's there's a little bit of uh, delay, and you mm -hmm. get a you're you're are in fact um, face to face with a human. Um, Who's wearing uh, I was, I was about to, okay. a fatigue, a military fatigue, um, and is uh, is clearly standing on the bridge of a vessel, which is, um, I don't know. I mean, it seems like it's probably built in like a shipyard somewhere in the marches. Um, hmm. It does, doesn't doesn't seem to match up with the silhouette. Um hmm. And uh, so, and, and see, he kind of pauses. Like you, you, you realize that the communicators have paired, and you're on the screen, and he's just kind of taking the taking the measure of you. He like doesn't even say hello. Okay, so I'll say, uh, "Hey, uh, what was the model again of the ship?" Well, I mean, it's it's, 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 it's from a, our guests, from our guests, from yeah. the from, from what we it's, what do we think it was? It's a Gvonek uh armed merchant uh, is, uh, is, that's what that's what the guess is uh, so the hailed uh, uh merchant ship uh vonic merchant ship this is the uh this is the iss achilles uh uh we are outbound uh from uh walston be advised uh if you are inbound um there has been a change of government notice uh, already in effect, um, local laws oh. apply uh, within system. Uh, Thank you for the warning, traveler. Uh, yes. We visit this world often, um, and I'm sad to hear it. Uh, it is, that is unfortunate. Um, oh, this, is, this is the Merchant Perry, um, and uh, I... I'm surprised. Um, I suppose we will make the best of this circumstance. Um, we run this line pretty often, and we may have a chance to see you again, Achilles. Um, I, I know your face is not who I would recognize um, aboard. It's a, it's a new face to me. Uh, who is Captain of the Achilles now? Uh, this, uh, ship has been, uh, repossessed by the Imperial Scout Service. <laughs> um, uh, previous, previous management is no longer, uh, in charge of this ship. Um, uh, so any, uh, you know, any, uh, uh, we are given to, to, to understand that the previous owners of the ship, uh, were somewhat notorious around the sector, uh, but be advised, uh, this ship is under new management by charter know. of the ISS. And I, I beep him a copy of the, of our, of our papers authorizing us to. <sighs> oh, yeah. Well, that's a refreshing change of pace. I'm glad to see someone got their just desserts. Um, with safe <laughs> travels. If you're headed for a Bowman, um, you may you, you should exercise the same caution as you did with us. Thank you, thank you. Uh, safe skies and 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 safe travels. Clear skies and safe travels sounds a bit better. <laughs> says dogs agree with me. <laughs> They're speaking Varger over at, at Jose's house. <laughs> oh my God! I thought we. <laughs> All right. All right, I, I suggest as soon as we get out uh, outside of their range, let's let's go. Yeah, because I haven't forgotten that the people in charge of this ship were idiots. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so as so as you power down the comms, you see that they've actually they had already like launched sand 
Um, <clears throat> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> We're ready for like pirates or something. Well, the, so, the, 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 they had they had blown sand uh, it just just in case in your direction. Mm. Um, I guess you you notice you notice a little bit of sk- static at the tail end of the call, like the laser comms having some some kind of scattering. <laughs> Um, so suffice it to say, the ship, uh, I, you're, you're ready for jump. Power yes. weapons down. Yep. Okay. All right, so we need to divert power. Yes. Divert all uh, yeah. not essential power to, to the jump. jump drive. Yep. Even the lighting's let it go dim. Yeah. And uh, when we do that, I have to make a jump check, which is engineering J drive, which is my specialty. Uh, Was that you or is that me? I got a I got a two on the astrogation, so it doesn't say that who has to make it. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Roll it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I got a plus two on the astrogation and uh, a plus. Two from the previous roll, right? From the from rolled over from the previous. Uh, so I'm rolling of four. So whatever I get is um, is effect. So here we go. That's an effect of three once more. Jeez, my dice tonight are like hot. <laughs> Oh, but wait, that, that doesn't account for any penalties uh, from the jump drive uh, or anything like that. So, you know. Well, it depends on how, how behind maintenance is. Yeah, so that would be a total roll of seven yeah. versus a difficulty of four with whatever modifier. Uh, you said it's a two modifier yes. negative, so. Yeah. Oh, so it's two. So it's a six. I was supposed well, to. Well, I, was, I wasn't going to tell you until, until the, the capacitor had fired. Uh, ah, the, of course. the quantum spin charge diversed through the mm-hmm. lanthanum grid, and the ship um, fell fell through the fell through the dimensional membrane. Uh, there's a very fun toy box, a 4D toy box that you can that that is that I discovered recently, and you can kind of play with like rolling a a, a cube in a four dimensional space. Yeah, it's uh, one dimension too many for me. <laughs> oh, well, I don't understand it either. But you get to, like you get to play with it, and, and so like, and you just and sometimes you drop it and it just disappears. The point is okay. that you just sometimes you just like slide in the space around in the toy box on your screen, and then it's gone. And suddenly it's gone. Okay, um, <laughs> that's quantum reality for you. Well, it's it's somewhere yeah. else, which is where yep. you are now. Um, and uh, the only thing that's keeping keeping you uh, from a very uncertain uh, circumstance is the the ship kind of puffing out a little membrane of this of this spin charged hydrogen plasma um, to maintain the jump envelope. The main viewports um, in the cockpit uh, have a tiled wall wallpaper which scrolls past because. It, people allege that they find it very unpleasant to look out the the window mm. and turn into the void, yeah. In jump space. Um whether this is an old wives tale or not, it's just um it's a feature that's been on every ship that you've ever been on. And uh now you have the week to spend with uh with your Varger companion. And well, to work on skills, because you can improve your skills during travel. I think you need to accumulate like eight weeks to get a new skill or get a zero skill to one, I believe is how it works. I'm going to uh, get mannered and we're going to start cleaning up the the mess all. Yeah. And, you know, uncrating the boxes of oranges. Well, uh, I'm going to get so tired of oranges. <laughs> you ain't going to get scurvy, at least. But well, we can... Uh, you're not wrong. Lay the beef jerky out, too. With a, with a case of KP, I mean, the, the kitchen is, is at least um, up to the point so, where... Well, yeah, I mean, you know, the, whatever happened to the Soylent dispenser is 
at least it's behind it's behind the kitchens. <laughs> it's, it's, it's bygones for the kitchen finally. Um, all right. It looks like it'll probably be another month before the soil and dispenser gives up anything, because um, it's gotta it's gotta get healthy. Um, so in the meantime, you got you got your cases of MREs and so on that you loaded up at at the starport. Um. Right. And the time to get inventive with cooking all that. Uh, so skill improvement and all that stuff happens. And uh, it's another week in jump space. Grelf is very happy to... Uh, to he, he would love to watch westerns with you, in particular. Nice. Uh, he has an <laughs> extensive collection of westerns. And um, and he also brought a couple of, uh, couple of board games, uh, which, which involve um, bluffing. He likes to play cards um <laughs> as well uh you know and and he he does he does occasionally um suggest that you know like this would be much more fun if we shared a wager mm. <laughs> uh, okay. uh we're a little i'm a little no, I, 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 samuel yeah. never takes a bite on that yeah uh, i do i do sit and watch some westerns with him but cycle through his collection these men yeah, in these in these times, uh, it's it is remarkable they they only could count on one another. Uh, you know, my, blah blah my blah. Second, in my second tour of duty in the Merchant Marines, I I took to wagering on a, and it didn't turn out well. So I've I've given up oh, on that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've given up on that. So. Yeah, there you go. Don't you think? Don't you think we're gambling enough? Flying this ship uh, in this condition for this distance. Yeah, that's, that's enough of a gamble. That is true. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> yeah, he probably will. Maynard probably will. Jeff. Jeff. I've, been, I've, been, I've been waiting for my opportunity. I will absolutely <laughs> gamble with this man. <laughs> All right. Um, so, suffice it to say, um, you know, like he's. Well, uh, I just gonna say that that actually Roy most of the time he's gonna spend like getting to know every corner of the ship, and you know obviously the wet and obviously cleaning his weapons. But it's so remarkable can... how ill taken care of this vessel was. Um, okay. um, to the point that like uh, you know there's there's a pile of leaves that must have blown in like when somebody left the hatchway <laughs> uh, <laughs> hatchway open. Um, it's just like behind a locker. You find like a pile of leaves from a planet that you've never been to. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I tell uh, you, these people are despicable. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, despicable. There's a, there's a wrapper for a breakfast burrito from from uh, from Mora Highport. There's a receipt for it. Looks like somebody had a, a vodka screwdriver with their breakfast burrito. Nice. Uh. <laughs> um. There's a ship plan which more closely matches the stats that I found. Perfect. So, okay. Yeah. But you're, nice. you're all, I did want to bring up to the group about because we're just like how many years? Do you think we're going to make much money off this to keep the ship running? Uh, well, we at least got to make enough to cover this uh, operation operations for the two week period, right? For a, a fortnight, and that'll give us a uh, salary each of 2,792 credits, which uh, is a decent salary for a, for a spacer crew. So, I mean, it, it took, I mean, if you think it took us. But it's only for a two week period, right? We need to get some more business once we make. Well, that, that's what I'm saying. By the time we, we flew out for 30 something hours, and then when we get there and have to do the transition, it's going to yeah, be yeah. a three week period. No, 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 no. So no. flying, only, no, flying into Garrison flying Starport, in... it like the nav computer alleges <laughs> that from your emergence point, it should only be six hours. Yeah. So you know, we should, we should be able to one week jump, in, in seven days tops. We should be able to do our business in Bowman and be ready to jump out by the end of those two weeks. So we do have some money, but we need money for the next leg of the journey. Well, uh, look around this place. We've been cleaning up for days. We still ain't got the kitchen fixed up. That's, that's what like, I'm saying. I, I'm I'm thinking these guys are skippers. 
it skipped out on on payment. Oh yeah, they they must have. That, that and, that's why the ship got repossessed, right? Uh, yeah. So I'm thinking maybe we talk to IS S and see if uh that if they have any jobs for us that way. Yeah, sure. But we we gotta ship, get to so. we gotta get to Flammarion first, and Flammarion yeah. is gonna be about two jumps. Not about. It's going to be precisely two more jumps to get to Flammarion. So we're talking another month. So we should pick up some cargo or more passengers and bowmen, and then we can make a uh, planet fall at either Asteltine or at Faldor. Uh, Asteltine is probably better. Uh, there is a scout base in Bowman. So if we want that to talk to the ISS. One in the same with the starport. So the jump clock is ticking down. Uh, okay. So, you know, you've, you've had plenty of time to kind of spend your time as you wish. And uh, everyone's stateroom and most of the compartments have a jump clock, which counts down. And it's down mm -hmm. to the last 48 minutes before emergence. Um, Excellent. All right. So, you know, we'll make sure that growth is secured in the... In the uh, yeah, I'll As go ahead and, state and room, him... right? That we have, uh, you know, let it be known that if we take on one passenger, that means uh, two of us are sharing uh, a, a state, so we're sharing bunks. Uh, so we probably do it in shifts, right? Whoever has, uh, you know, maybe maybe uh, Sam and um, Javier as the most experienced spacers, right? We'll share the bunk. one room, and bunk, yeah, and then rotate out. That way exactly. we don't have two rooms active. Uh, well, no, we, we do need the other two rooms active because doubling up puts a little bit of strain on the uh, CO2 scrubbers. And so it's a little more expensive to run the ship if you're doubling up. Uh, but okay. it doesn't really matter because if we get two passengers and all four of us had to double up in two staterooms, that usually pays for, for the extra cost. Yeah. Of of the life support. So Okay, well I'll go ahead and let fine. uh let Gruff know we're about to arrive, get on the PA system and uh this is well thank you. Uh please tell me as soon as as soon as I can get on the wave and uh try and contact my kin. Uh I understand of course uh what you wish. I would love to be on the bridge and see Bowman for myself. Uh of course if you will permit me. Okay. Yeah, your your Kenner Bowman, like you said. Sure. So. Uh, I'll uh, Javier will also take station to you know handle sensors or comms or you know or I think we should all be on the bridge when we mm -hmm. emerge from jump because we don't know what we're gonna get. Right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Unless somebody okay. wants to be in the turret. Turret. <laughs> he's never left the turret. He's just, he's very <laughs> he's, he's <laughs> So there's well, a tradition no. that the turrets are in fact really spacious in Traveler, and like you can even haul cargo in them, like really, they, like pack wow. cargo into like the yeah, because they're this like this big dome, and like there's this I don't know. He's got his cowboy like, hat on and eating beef jerky and nice. <laughs> so we strap ourselves in, ready for precipitation, which is a very nice yeah. name for uh, dropping out of uh, jump space. So yeah, and that's and so that's it's as just as suddenly as the ship was in jump space, it's no longer in jump space. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the first thing that happens is that the the cold gas thrusters orient the ship and get it uh, get, get it oriented on its mm -hmm. on its vector, and the nav computer is it's just kind of kind of sets itself up, and um, and so you know you you can spend as much time scanning um your emergence wave is you know pretty small you know with a small ship so you're mm -hmm. not you're not necessarily always spotted the moment that you arrive so the question yeah, is whether wake. So the question is whether you you know do you want to do you want to fire up and start awake right away what do you want to do first right. i want to get a, our bearings right um okay so you see the hulking mass of uh of bowman prime which is a I have a blue, bluish tinged uh, gas giant, which is kind of out the outer envelope of an ice giant size. 
um there's layers there's places where the methane layer is kind of uh overridden by the very turbulent this fast rotation of a planet like jupiter um so you know the inner layers are churned up uh nava computer can just make out that um garrison starport is going to pass behind bowman prime um <laughs> before you arrive there so you'll you'll be arriving at it uh, at You'll be arriving at it once it's transited the disc. Mm -hmm. of, um, there's uh, so you pick up the transponder of uh, the Ling Standard product, Products Facility, um, and there's a there's a data packet with navigational data to jump there, um, you know, and just to navigate there. Uh, Koenig's mm -hmm. Rock seems to have a rudimentary data net that you can log into. If you want to see any freight in Koenig's Rock, uh, you know, this is just listening. This is all passive. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. And yeah, so the question is, you know, how much time do you want to spend quiet before you fire up the engine? Uh, you know, if we if we're not getting any. Contact extreme range passive. Yeah. Oh, we, we are getting a contact at extreme range. Uh... <clears throat> Smaller than 1,000 D-tons. Hmm. All right. So how far are we from Garrison? Uh, six hours. Six hours. Okay. All right. So that's at full burn at the two gravities? That's full burn, nothing fancy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. Well, we got to get moving. I mean, yeah, I uh, think she can handle it. It's extreme range, so, you know. All right, let's warm the jets. Chance it anyway. Yeah. Okay. I go ahead and put the, the thrust to it. All right. So your signature is, of course, warmed up, and now there's some there's an escalating chance that someone's made note of you. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, as you as you kind of warm up, you get a little bit more of a picture of the ship. It's um. It's also inbound, uh, in this case, um, from Asseltine, probably, or maybe it's hard to say, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. without, without kind of making a lot of guesses. Sure. sure. Um, but it is over time, um, by the, about one hour, you, you get a chance, you, you kind of get the feeling as it's drawing closer that it's probably a Beowulf um a jump one uh free trader. Free trader, yeah. Oh okay. uh I should contact Space yeah, Force. Does anybody else sure. have communications? Like cause I keep doing that stuff and I don't know if anybody else wants to do uh, it. It's electronics. Well so contacting Garrison yeah, Starport know. is in fact going to take a, 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 an actual role because uh, it's going behind the disc. It's, it is yeah. so you're going to have to actually find the the relay satellite. Mm, okay. And, and actually Target. set up, set up a cellular link to it. Yeah. Okay. Do you have that skill, Jim or no? Nope, I've got nothing in, in and I'm guessing our marine doesn't either. Yeah. Well, <laughs> or professional. Well, neither of the marines. <laughs> That's true. The Marines are not, you know, uh, up to it. Okay. Uh, Del, you want to try that? I got, I got electronics. Yeah, so, go for okay. it. Okay, that's, yeah. Yeah. Because I'm good at sensors, but not specifically communications. So. Okay. Got a five and with one, that's six. As far, we're talking about linking up, right? Yes. So, it which should be is, your education plus your... Yeah, plus the education your, is yeah. six. The link is the link is sketchy, um, but you're 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 tied in, and you have you have at least a, a voice connection with the Starport uh, traffic controller. Um, but it's scratching, like it's okay. Um, Is this traffic control? 
it is this is the automated traffic controller at the Bowman Scout base and Garrison Starport. How may I assist you? This is a um, scout ship Achilles. We need to uh, set up a, a rendezvous with the Garrison Starport. Achilles, and, uh, please, landing privileges. please report immediately to the Garrison Starport. <laughs> They're thinking we're the other guys. <laughs> Tell them, tell them the ship's been repossessed. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. We need to get send them. We're, we're sitting here uh, by ISS. Uh, we need to repossessed. Send we the repossessed. attachment with the we, <laughs> They're freaking out behind me, okay? <laughs> we repossessed the Garrison Starship. Correction, we repossessed the Garrison Starship for ISS. By order of ISS. From the, you know, from the skippers. <laughs> so we're bringing it back to... Uh, yeah, we need to relay okay. the gears. So there's a, a human human picks up, and like a, a, as that comes up, uh, is this Achilles? Thank God. Hel yes. Hello. This yep. is Achilles. Or, uh, yeah. Achilles. This is uh, this is Achilles, but this is this, this is, is a repossession contract uh, for uh, Rashid Al Medina, um, uh, Maynard, um, Mattis, and. Um, uh, Samuel, is that is that? Yes, you're, right? you're speaking with uh, Samuel right okay, now. Okay, yeah, I just got that data. Um, just got that data four days ago. Uh, thank you. Um, you you want us to send you a data packet with the information? Uh, and well, our certification. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, I I would appreciate that. Um, okay, uh, that's good. Here. That's good. Um, you're gonna need to wave off the. Um, there's a trader. Uh, that uh, we sent. Um, it's automated. Um, but to intercept yeah. us, oh, well, yeah, yeah, shut that yeah. Down. so yeah, that, that trader, um, there was a bounty on the previous crew of the Achilles, so oh, so, so they're 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 hot for yeah. you. Uh, um, uh, unfortunately, I uh, you're on your own to to wave them off. I, I will, I will tell them, you know, of course, on that, our own. Well, I mean, please, there, please do. There, there's there's no combat air patrol, I'm just telling you, okay, like they know they're not supposed to shoot you, they know there, there's no bounty. You know, just then, you know, we'll just assume they got the message. No, not a bounty on us, but a, a bounty on, yes. Yeah, please, I if you see. can, do all that you can to alert the ship. I'm going to guess that you want to be using your ship's communications for uh, for something yes. besides talking to me right now. So I'm going to let you go. Okay. Best of luck. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Click. All right. What the, what? Let, let's get in contact with the ship. Yeah, the automated yeah, ship. Yeah. Right yeah. All right, so I knew this crap was going to get this way. Um, all right, so we need to hail the, the free trader coming our mm -hmm. way. Is, is that so another role? A Beowulf? Well, I mean, they're, they're hailing you. Oh, okay. <laughs> they're hailing okay. you, and, and they, they've, got, they've, got two, they've got two fish in the water running cold at you at their thrust um, oh. already. Um, like, like just, just, just hey, Roy up there, just, just running alongside, you know, like thrusting at their one G they're, you know, they're, they're not burning them. Okay. Oh, so get, get on the comms to them. Let's go ahead and try Stand, and by him. Yeah. Well, do you I, see, you see there, I like him. There <laughs> trader. Are two missiles that the, like, that are very clearly, you know, live. Um, yeah, they, that's what Roy. Yeah, we got a situation where two are coming in hot. Yeah, uh, stand by. We're trying to defuse the situation, but be advised there are torpedoes on the water. So yes, <laughs> if they get within range, we need to take them out. Yeah. We're gonna alert. The this ship. is uh, this is Captain this is Magnuson uh, of the Talisman. Um, can you, Captain? Yeah. Thank God, you need to disarm your uh, disarm your fish. Oh, they're they're just escorting us. I, I this just a it's just a standard, you know, approach that we take in systems like Bowman where things are less than safe. Okay, we are not hostile. I and we, I I would appreciate you if if if, if it remains that way. If I <laughs> yeah, we will send we will send a data packet there. I, we will uh, we'll retrieve our we will retrieve our missiles. Um. Please, that they're you know they, they aren't cheap, so please don't shoot them out of the out of the, out of the sky. Okay, um, Roy, ho hold on. That. <laughs> let us let us know when they're disarmed, and uh, we'll We're send over a data started. packet immediately. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, it's it's been a pleasure talking to you. I I unfortunately I I I are you headed for Garrison Starport? 
Yes, we we have to make a we have to make a stop it. Yeah, well, we forward. are we are also making uh making planet fall there, um, and we are gonna have some some uh, room in our hold, um, and I think we're gonna be able to outbid you for any of the freight. So um, yeah, I I, I I see you're on detached duty. I see your your contract. So yeah, if you're looking to make any money, I think we're probably gonna be able to take up all the freight here. Sorry about that. Just uh, you know, sorry about that. <laughs> well, well, tough luck, Mundrake. You uh, you're down in the turret, right? We'll see. Yes, sir. I sent him a freaking data pack, and he's oh god. All right, I don't have him in my box. Data pack. This guy. These people are. Yeah. This yeah, just, they, they sit uh, just like the previous. Crap. Yeah. <laughs> We got into that, I'm, man. Yeah, I'm starting to realize why the previous owners were like the way they were. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, how much you did go. you those, uh, those things you cost go. him? Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. So, yeah. you, you do know, <laughs> however, you mean free traders who I ain't going to screw with a free trader now. Wait, you, you mean you're free traders who've never had to free trader? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> So you do right, know, over. I mean, like sitting on the bridge once he's clicked off, I mean, and, you know, yeah. you've, you've got like a very accurate, you know, positioning statement of where he is because you're, you know, laser com also means laser rangefinder. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, his ship can only make one G. Mm. Push it to the limit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so when we do that, we're going to have to go offline with the, the, you know, armaments that we have. Is reduced uh, at least no, reduce, right. reduce life support right and and boost because well, jump drive that but yeah but jump drive is offline we don't we, we're not powering up the jump drive we got 60 power so we can handle maneuver so drive. We two thrust and still have our uh yeah our weapons. Tail gutter. all right yeah, everything all the only thing we can do is we can't do is jump and we're not Planning on jumping. So. No, that, that's fine. That's fine. Now you got to remember, I suck at piloting that. <laughs> so I don't want to get in a tussle with them more than I have to, you know. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, um, just go for full burn. Uh, yeah, Roy, I want to go for full by. burn. Roy, you just stay on stand your tours. by. Yeah, keep keep those birds in in your sights just in case they decide yeah. to get frisky. Aye, aye. <laughs> All right, let's try to get there and, yeah. and and get some freight before they do. All right. Okay. So yeah, let me hit the burn. So you're interested to see um, as you're coming into Bowman Prime. Um, the, shortly after the, uh, the 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 moonlit comes back back around the the limb of the the gas giant. There's a there's a lab ship, which is uh, kind of in a in a slow orbit, slow and long orbit, which emerges. Um, and is uh, it's kind of has a very unsubtle silhouette. It's that ring-shaped silhouette it spins for gravity. I don't know why anybody would bother with that. Um, yeah, novelty. Yeah, we we got grab flight. Scientists suggest that it's you know it's slightly more comfortable. They like to talk about that. I mean, you know the the. The excuse is so always retro. There. Well, the well, maybe maybe, yeah. maybe it saves power, right? Because you, you just yeah, you, know, yeah. Just, you just need to get it started spinning, and you don't have to stop because there's no friction. So, well, in any case, <sighs> um, it's you know, there's nothing really remarkable about this gas giant, as far as you know. Uh, but there she is, um, and uh, she seems kind of just on station, and um, as you're coming into the starport. Um, the her gig launches. You know, her, she's got a modular cutter, uh, which mm -hmm. is at the hub, and oh, wow. um, and you get you, you get a little bit of a hail um, from 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 the the gig, and they just uh, you know they say this is um I got some questions for you. Uh, I got an offer for you. Um, Achilles. Uh, I, I've spoken to my colleagues. Um. At the scout base at Garrison. Um, and let me make some introductions. First of all, um, I'm Yudmila Utskaya. Uh, 
I'm a fellow, research fellow at uh, the Xeno, Xeno Anthropology School of Glisten. Um, and uh, I, I have a, a proposal for you. Um, if, if, you, if you can have me aboard, I, I won't delay you once you're at Starport. It does seem that you're trying to overtake the uh, talisman. Uh, yeah, do we have, do we have time to dock and, and pick you up? That's going to make us run behind. What what are you offering here? Oh, I mean, well, I I I would like to um to charter your vessel, um mm -hmm. if if you can spare it. Um, uh, yeah, the price mm -hmm. is right. We can uh <laughs> definitely consider it. In any case, I, 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 I am short for time as well. Um, and this is a time sensitive matter, which, which brings me aboard your vessel. Um, so if you accept, then, uh, we can begin to talk, uh, business. I can transfer you, um, a bank draft, uh, drawn on Hortelez at sea for 60,000, uh, credits. Um, Okay. Contingent I, I upon the, mic up the fulfillment. Here. Yeah. Contingent of fulfillment of? Of the terms of the contract, right? Yes. 60,000? I can advance you 10,000 for your for your operating expenses, uh, uh, expenses now. Uh, one one moment, please. I shot, I mute <laughs> the, the thing. <laughs> And I say sixty thousand is pretty good. I mean, we're only getting a net profit of uh, uh, eleven thousand after we pay for maintenance. So that's a total profit of. Uh, we're only making like twenty four thousand in this whole trip. This these two weeks that we just. I know, yeah. Javier. This is a goal, man. We've just hit yeah, it. Yeah, this is three right. times. This is like like three times the shipment that we're getting they right now. Try to now. outbid these uh, the free traders here. Yeah, yeah and, and this let them have let the them have the uh, let them have the, the cargo. Cars. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say this may not be something that they're interested in. So yeah, let's let's go for it, man. Now, now he has no of our accommodations. We're not, you know, out suited for a high passenger. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll I'll, just, I'll, we'll just, yeah, we'll just warn her that that's what we have. But she seems to want to charter the entire ship, so that's that sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, and, and I, 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 I'll let you handle it. I will require some personal security, um, rudimentary. You do have some firearms aboard, is that correct? Yes, we do, uh, <laughs> and we are interested in in your proposal. So, by all means, please, you know. Uh, Follow the vector and then we'll 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 dock for passenger stand by for passenger transfer and so we <laughs> we will yeah all right so you cut thrust um about an hour out from the starport um uh -huh. she walks over on the inflated collar from the modular cutter um mm -hmm. she's got a large case and um there's a there's a stocky looking researcher and uh the cutter's pilot on the far end that wave her wave her off and um and she sits down in the mess um leaving them docked i won't take you very long with she, oh, sorry yeah the, the the cutter's still docked right they yeah for, for for now just, yes just, yeah just, yeah just for flavor i guess that uh um the, the question is somebody should receive them armed right gonna uh, trust them right uh, well in a circumstance like this yes i mean this is cool this is so, deeply so, so would jeff do that or, or would you guys want to uh yeah i think that would be a jeff thing yeah and i'd stay at the turret just in case yep. yeah, yeah, sure. you don't need to say me so the cutter is um it, it looks like it has had some sensor upgrades um and you get the sense that it does have some uh chaff dispensers that's been installed on like um like it could it could throw stand uh like a like once um and in fact so this it's kind of coated in these explosive sand canisters uh, around it which you know at this range you know they could at least break the docking tube um 
So that's that, that's just, just to give you a picture of the hazard. Um, so she flies across because uh, there's no gravity in the tube. Yeah. Um, and she's she's got she's got her uh, she's got her vac suit with the visor up uh, on, and um, she comes across with her luggage. They they throw the luggage across, um, which flies across of its own. Um, <laughs> nice, right. And uh, she says, a moment of your time for your crew. Uh, I'll have us undocked um, to go into the starport once we settle on business. Um, but I, I do require some discretion, which is why I would like to speak face to face. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's with all the sand, lady? You trying to start a beach? <laughs> 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 Jenny, like, I don't see that too often. What's going on there? Oh, pardon us. I, I, I'm i sorry. I'm not sure I follow what... No, th th she didn't actually dump the sand. He's just saying she has the no, capacity. But, but... Oh, oh. oh. The, I, no, it's a good question. Uh, it's just, she's, she's naive to what your question is, essentially. Uh, ah, okay. It's, it's, she's, she's, she doesn't follow, and then, and then, you know, figuring out that you're looking... Through the boarding tube, which is kind of made uh -huh. out of like a kind of see-through surgical tubing, two layers of kind of transparent stuff. Um, she figuring out that you're looking at the canister. She says, "Oh yeah, I'm the captain. Uh, the captain of the ship um, has devised this as a, a protection for us in these frontier areas. It's a it's an affect of his. Um, I am not by any means an expert in these matters." All right, let's go up to the uh, let's go up to the bridge. All right, uh, gentlemen. So, oh, yeah, yeah we we'll just we we'll just find our place to, to uh, sit. Now she's human. She is just a uh, okay. Yeah. All right, all right, Miss uh, Utskaya. Um, uh, this is our ship. Uh, I'm Javier Almedina. Uh, my associates. Uh, you already uh, met uh, Jeff Mattis, and uh, this uh, is our pilot, uh, Samuel Edmonds. Uh, we have our security uh, specialist currently at the turret. Uh, the of course. Beowulf, the Beowulf system, uh, the Beowulf trader uh, ship you can see about an hour away is uh, what's tailing us, and uh, I don't know. So before I disclose any more to, to you about this, I, I could you do me the courtesy of uh, I would just like to do a brief identity scan, um, if you could. And we we should uh, alert you that uh, we are carrying a Varga passenger in transit to. Ah uh, yes, in transit to Garrison. And he knocks on he knocks on his door. <laughs> yeah. I, are you going to let me out ever? <laughs> um, just give us a minute. <laughs> We're almost at your destination. Yeah. All right, so she holds up. She's got this really thick tablet-like computer, which is which is it's got it's got four cameras on the top of it, and um, it, it seems to have like a really big gnarly antenna, which is currently unfurled and and maybe uplinked to the the lab ship, and yeah. um, and she she holds it up and and uh, so just close your eyes for the laser scan. Okay. All right. All right. So uh, our destination is Faldor. I can tell you that much while we wait for our ship. Just to tell me if you are any kind of individuals that I shouldn't be trusting with this. Um, I guess, you, would you guys call Roy down? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, we should. We should. Yeah, we we don't want to Roy down here, too. Negotiation with that Jose here. Yeah. All right, Roy. Uh, head down. We need you on the, on the deck. Yeah. So, that she, so, he so Roy, comes, the... Roy comes down the corridor, and she's kind of... Yeah. Does it does a scanner for Roy? We have a lot of data on our ship, and you know we we have we have the luxury of being able to keep a, a lot of catalogs of individuals, you know, in the trillions. Um, mm -hmm. Which you know, it, not everyone has these luxuries, but you know, I'd prefer to be safe, uh, even though we are going to be engaging in something somewhat dangerous. Um, so, 
somewhat uh, dangerous? I, well, yeah, I mean, dangerous for me, perhaps not so much for you. Um, and that, okay. this is this is where uh, I, I like this. I, I might, uh, I, I think, I think it's time for us to part ways with my companions. Um, she, she's receives the uh, data from her tail. Oh, yeah. Colonel Moondrake. Ma'am. Oh, this is a pleasure. Um, uh, suffice it to say, this is a matter of, uh, Imperial, uh, concern that we are going to undertake um and it is a, a pleasure to have someone of your experience aboard um and uh it, our errand is um one of science and she walks to the airlock and, and wa waves oh, to her companion, companions say, wait, to close wait a up. moment are, are we still headed to to bowman well i we presume you're, you're, to... you're going to need to refuel correct uh, yeah. yes, that'll yeah. probably be best. Yeah, yeah at gonna... the very least, it, you were, you're going to need to refuel. Man. I would pref Good. Good. Yeah. prefer, of course, yes, if you would discharge your passenger. Um, and, and then we can speak to some more things. Uh, and, we, and I have a cargo that I will need you to take aboard, as a matter of fact. Mm, good. good. Uh, it, it is to... at Garrison Starport. Yeah, is it less than 10 tons? Uh, you will find that it is the four-ton shipment, which is bound for Faldor. Ah, all right, all right. Four tons, that's that's fine. That's doable. Yeah. yeah, we have a 12-ton cargo hold, and we, we're going to unload seven tons of it here at Bowman, so... We can agree, we should, and that, that would leave us six tons. If, uh, should have room. <clears throat> yeah, of course, maybe you have nothing, nothing against us carrying extra cargo. So, um, if we, if you have any cargo that you can find for Faldor, um, the Otari are uh, not particularly interested in uh, much. That of we course, can that's provide. a secondary consideration. Well, I mean, by all means, I mean, Otari is. I mean, Faldor is no longer classified in Amber Zone, um, and some people are taking more advantage of that than others. And uh, that is their reason for our uh, errand. And with that awesome. in mind, um, suffice it to say, I, I will say no more uh, until we are underway and, and in jump space for Faldor uh, on the topic of this. I'm happy to get acquainted. I do enjoy a game of Parcheesi. Um <laughs> And uh, if you happen to have anything, I, I, I prefer the chicken pot pie MREs if you're right. buying anything from the starport for food. All right, man, get the, get the young lady's room ready. Yeah. Uh, done and done. You can bunk with me. Question. She's considerably less than young, by the way. She's pushing uh, 50. Really? Yeah. Question: What okay. what do we do? Well, we I guess we can you know we can do the still a woman, son. Because we we can dump the seven tons here at Bowman, and we have to deliver another five tons to the Trojans. So I guess that's a couple of hours. Uh, well, uh, it, it, this is a matter of of some of some sensitive concerns for the time, yeah. um, and in fact. Perhaps we, we can. We, I, I do the cutter. Do you, you, you offload it into the cutter? That's fine. Transfer okay. it into the cutter, and we will deliver it to 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 Ling Standard Products. That's fine. Excellent, excellent. All right, all right. I'm afraid that okay. we we, so we will need to be outboned, and you will not be receiving your money for that shipment. Um, you'll have to take that as a loss, but we can fulfill it for you. Okay, so that that'll be fine. Yeah. Are you gonna be compensated for that? No, uh, we're just getting deeper and deeper. Uh, your compensation is that your still... ship won't be uh, won't be labeled no. as failing to fulfill shipments. Yeah, that's important though. If we're yeah. going to take this sixty thousand credit, no, uh, yes, you're, do, you're doing you're doing this right. Uh, what is your name again, ma'am? Ludmila. Utskaya. Utskaya. It's a mouthful. Of Mora. Thank you. Yes. 
Yudmila. Yudmila. At least that's how I heard it. So you got it right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yudmila of Mora. Mora. Which is one of the it's it's kind of one of the premier mar worlds in the marches as far as um, uh, being a nice place to be. Very nice to meet you. All right, Maybe. but we do get we do get paid for the passenger and for the other seven tons of cargo. So you do, yes, yeah. So everybody can add one thousand five hundred and forty two credits to their account, which is basically what we spent getting here. So I guess we go back to, back um, to so back to zero. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Garrison Starport is um, not very particularly pleasant. Um, the method is for um, there's it's you know it's it's on a Europa like a kind of ice ball moon, um, and um, there's a there's a little automated drone craft which which pulls a tarp over your ship, and you like it like the the imperative is to kind of dock like at a ramp, which goes down into the ice caves. And then okay. a, a drone kind of pulls a piece of saran wrap over your ship to create a seal. Um, to offload. Mm. Uh, there is right, a bar. Just offload it. Yes. <laughs> uh, it, it currently only has moonshine. No pun intended. Win win. <laughs> well, what's the drawback then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's it, the the only drawback is that it it there's a odd salty taste uh, to the moonshine because <laughs> it it comes from the local ocean water. Um, and there's yeah. a, there's a kind of salt which just doesn't wash out. What? Uh. Okay. I'll be, say, I'm busy myself with with offload, offloading and unloading. Yeah, well, uh, now uh, Roy will will go help with the with the cargo, and I would try and use my admin skill to deal with the manifests. Make sure there's nothing irregular with with loading on our ship. Mm. Because it says it deals with uh, it says uh, it covers tracking inventory, ship manifest, and other records. Well, this oh, this may be a, a means to hasten the uh, the the process of getting the ship unloaded. Perfect. At the very least. Yeah, and we need to uh, Mater, while you're in, see if they have any supplies, food wise to re respond the best. So, and so I I think given the circumstances, that's just um the the whole process of that is probably um six it's a six it's an easy roll all right so it's an edu or social which you know those are equivalent from a plus oh, well, one social and, is you know uh, pretty readily invoked even in these circumstances all right so plus two and i rolled uh seven plus two nine it's a pleasure to help you, Colonel. Um, I, I I do have a forklift here. If you have anyone on your ship that that would like to borrow it, uh, there's a there's a grav lift here to get your cargo off. Um, if you're headed for Faldor, sir, um, I just advise you to to watch out for um. Watch watch out for spears. That's that's what I tell you, sir. Spears. Uh, yeah, the natives. Hmm. Mm. Well, thank you, citizen. It's like a primal world. What about our uh, our Varger temporary companion? This is what fine. This is fi I will find my lodging here. I'm happy to have spent the week with you, gentlemen. I, I wish that we could have done a little bit more gaming in earnest than we did. I'm Amen. sad. Well, to I enjoyed have your collection. And not made the time. acquaintance of our of your new companion, uh, Ludmila. I, I wish you the best. Um, and I would I, save travels to you, and I, I I really hope that one day we will be friends once again, um, and and that is that is what I have to say. 
Wait, this is this is a barger who likes westerns. Yes, yeah. it is. He must have loved Penny Dreadful then. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> the guy turns into a werewolf. Yeah. <laughs> the cowboy's uh, a werewolf. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is interesting. Werewolf, werewolf stories with my people are. They are like, um, like an alien doppelganger story. Often, this is how we we take werewolf stories. Nice. If you mean like, <laughs> is it's Makes when it, it's when a man comes among our people and he's he's discovered to not be, uh, he's not 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 among our kin. But you know, it's there's often many different answers to what happens uh, in the story. I, I mean, I'm particularly a good friend of the of the story where it turns out that the there's a comedy in this ancient comedy from 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 Lair from Homeworld, um, and there's there's a, a man who is uh, has this curse from Earth, this fantasy curse, and there's all sorts of comedy about how he accidentally have to marry this princess, and then. It ends up that he has this massive pack of followers that he cannot end up revealing himself to. It's all a misunderstanding. And then the moon changes. Uh, uh, another time, I would be happy to tell you this story. <laughs> that's a nice passenger. We had a nice passenger. It was very well behaved. So that's pretty cool. All right. All right. So, about it. yeah. So I will start, you know. Uh, as obviously it's drawing time is drawing to a close uh i want to start researching uh falder what we know from the standard because i can i can see the the information the uwp uh mm. but for next time we'll probably have to talk about that because it says a law rating of seven so most weapons are prohibitive except for shotguns and stunners and carrying weapons is discouraged. So, you know, just be advised. <laughs> well, it so happens that, that when I looked at the list, the TL-12 weapon up to 1,000 credits. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> of course I could buy other stuff with cash and I have a pension. So the best bank for my buck was buying a stunner. I did too. I have one too. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> now, what, whatever supplies we need, if we're going straight there, that we can get here, because we're going to a more technologically. And you, know. you should get, if you don't have it already, you should get breather masks. Yeah, rebreathers are either, you know, this is probably masks. a low grav world. I, I, got a, I got a TL8 breather mask. That's the one that combines and, respirator and breather. So that's and the best an environment one. suit. Excellent. So yeah, shall we segue to the the job once the ship is in jump space? Sure. Give once us just give us a, a briefing because okay. it's midnight. So we gotta. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I I think that you probably want to hear the adventure. Um, yeah. Okay. So here it is. Um, the cargo you have taken on is. Uh, a large number of uh, how you say um, so they are shields and and armors and uh, spears and so on, but they are finer pieces. Uh, and there's also some some agricultural implements and uh, a few other things. Um, and I intend to deliver them to uh, the princess of the far swamp. Uh, is my understanding of her name. Um, she has been in contact with someone else who has been delivering her luxuries off-world. And uh, Princess of Far Swamp uh, does not know the face of, of, of who it is that has been delivering these things. And uh, it is my intention to assume the identity of, of the off-worlder. I don't know... All that much about this person who's been trading with the Otari. But it is my intention to to overtake their cover. And um possibly we I mean it, we may um I happen to know that they this person is um 
is going to arrive in several days to Faldor, and we, we may need to detain or eliminate them in order to replace their identity. Mm. I have done good accord that they are an agent of the Sword World uh, uh, clandestine service. If you need to reconcile your conscience about why we are going to do yeah, this. Yeah, Samuel stands up a little bit. Yes, I, I believe we, we do need whatever information you have about these people. I can't just... By all means, I mean, I have the same, same level of personnel uh, file for them as I do for you, except they're citizens of Sword World, so it's a restricted database. Um, I can show the colonel. So, so it's an off-worlder from the Sword, Sword World's uh, confederacy, is it? I don't know what it is. Yes. That's, they're basically running weapons for the Otari, and you wish to us to intercept them so that you can take their identity. This is accurate. Yes. Okay. Wow. The wave of them, this lady. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we have need to do things of this nature. Um, there's a great deal of activity coming from the clandestine service of Sword World. Great deal of activity. Even I've heard there is Varger Corsairs here in, in 268. How they come hmm. to be on the far side of marches? This is a good question. So we, we need to ask... So this is not for personal gain. This is for finding information. Oh, darling. Stimming the tide. I think you probably should have guessed that I am some sort of spy by now. Yes, yeah. it's, it's Imperial I, Spy Service, yeah. right? I will tell CIA, you. Man. <laughs> I will fill yeah. you in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, awesome. Please, please, this is great. Please don't, yeah. please don't tell him everything that would require his sanction. We need him to fly the, the sun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, I pick up the the orange juice and take a swig of it and set it down. <laughs> Turn around and go back to the to the deck, to the control panel. Excellent. Excellent. Keep your wits about you. I hear landing on Faldor is no simple task. Uh, I sighed and popped the little bobblehead on the... <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm, right. I'm, I'm studying. I, I'm, my, my study subject is uh, piloting, just to have a I backup just, pilot. Somebody, I, I was the backup pilot. <laughs> yeah, I'm the backup to the backup pilot. So, <laughs> so um, the question is, do you use a fuel voucher? Um, it is a scout service port, so they do they, they will oblige it if you want to use one of the fuel vouchers. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, let's yeah. let's do it because it's like two thousand three hundred credits or something like that. So, um, oh, what have we got ourselves into? And so, and, oh, and, adventure is and what we got ourselves into. <laughs> adventure, <laughs> love it. I, I knew it. it. Like, oh, geez. All right, Excellent. so I, I will get some more setup of of uh, and some planetary data and stuff if you want to start working on the cool, planning cool. and stuff. Um, yeah. Wish you all start. a good night. I know it is late for you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thanks for, thanks for having me along, guys. Yeah. <laughs>